It might look like the moon, but it's something even more way out. It's a picture of a human fetus inside its mother's womb. The image is developed by waves of sound shooting through water into the womb and bouncing back in much the same way that sonar is used to track a submarine. The waves are ultrasonic, traveling at a frequency far beyond the range of the human ear. The machine, called an echoscope, has just come out of the experimental stage and will soon be offered for use by hospitals across Australia. It was specially developed by the Commonwealth Acoustic Laboratory in Sydney. It is one of only five in the world and provides pictures of highest quality. Why don't we use this technique with all pregnant women? Well, this would be silly because the majority of pregnancies are normal and, and uh, there's no need to be investigating normals when there is no problems involved. Are there any particularly dangerous conditions which this machine can diagnose? Oh, yes. Uh, if it's a question of knowing which way up the baby is, uh, this can be safely done and very easily done with an echogram. A uh, question of diagnosing twins, or in some rather specialized cases of threatened miscarriage, there is a rare condition which is much better diagnosed by the echogram than with x-rays. Now this device operates on sound and sound waves. Is there any danger to the fetus? Uh, no. There have been a lot of investigations throughout the world on the possibilities of risk, and it appears that there are no significant changes produced by uh, ultrasound at the levels of dosage which we use. X-rays, on the other hand, are well known to be to have risks and special hazards to growing babies with them. About one in ten expected mothers may require special uterine examination during their pregnancies. In perhaps half these cases, the echoscope can do the job more safely or more efficiently than X-ray. It can take pictures from the twelfth week. I'm speaking to Mr. David Robinson, a physicist with the Commonwealth Acoustic Laboratory and one of the developers of the ultrasonic echoscope. How many years did it take to develop this device? We've been working on this particular machine for six years, although it didn't take this long to actually develop the technical part of the machine, but to provide modifications in the light of clinical experience to get the maximum information uh, from the patient. Now, they're just about ready to go into general production. Do you foresee a large or wide usage for these machines in hospitals around Australia? I think there'd be a requirement for one of these machines in any large maternity hospital. Uh, we hope to have a machine such as this one uh, available in the near future in Australia. The echoscope comes close to fulfilling the dream of every mother to see her child before it's born. But unfortunately, that desire can't be met all the way. Although the machine offers a striking picture of the unborn child, doctors say it's still unsuitable for some things. You still can't tell, for instance, whether it'll be a boy or a girl.